Welcome to the Switch On Podcast. My name is Adora Lumina Mbelu, Bright Light Purpose Driver and your number one purpose and productivity coach. Each week you will learn how to own your mind and body and make it work for you on your life's journey. I want to show you that while you may not always have control over external forces, you can create your own pathway to fulfilling your God-given mission. And it all starts with your mind. Hi guys, welcome to the Switch On Podcast. My name is Adora Lumina Mbelu and we are on the success series. Today's day six of success is, and I'm going to be talking about understanding your role. You see, working in a team has taught me many things that have shaped my journey through life. I've learned that being the head is not as sweet as it seems. Being the head means that your brain is continuously in motion when the other parts of your body are relaxed okay i've also learned that there is no permanent head because sometimes the head becomes the hands and other times the head is the feet or it's the chest or it's the back i've learned that the head cannot work without the hands or the feet or the back i've learned that so many people focus on being the head and as a result many teams are broken i've learned that whereas people tend to view me as the head i'm actually the heart the heart is not there to function just as an engine starter it's there to function as a center of love the body is no good if it isn't whole so for it to be whole all the organs must work together to ensure that there is strength, there is hope, there is vision, thoughts, motion, but more importantly, that there is love. I think it's really important for you to know the role that you serve in any given situation. Many times we're busy trying to be everything to everyone. Sometimes in your bid to go above and beyond or keep a perception that others have, have of you, you end up taking roles that you know you shouldn't touch. And then you struggle and then you end up disappointing them. So either you disappoint them or you disappoint yourself. It's counterproductive to your mission to take on roles that aren't meant for you in a particular situation or particular season. So there are times where I have the mental space to coach people. And there are times where I'm off coaching for months because I don't have the mental space, okay? During that time, I'm serving a different role. It's just about times and seasons, knowing your role in a particular situation and playing it to the best of your ability. So I'm going to leave you with two Bible verses that have been a solid reminder about roles. The first one is 1 Corinthians 12, 12, which says that for even as the body is one and yet has many members and all the members members of the body, though they are many, are one body. So is Christ. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Romans 12, 3 to 8 says, For through the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think more highly of himself than he ought to think, but to think so as to have sound judgment as God has allotted to each a measure of faith. For just as we have many members in one body and all the members do not have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ and individually members of members of one another. Okay, so... I think that, you know, when we keep put this in context, again, you know, it's really just understanding, you know, what role we play in every season, what role we play in every time so that you're not continuously overwhelmed, trying to be everywhere, doing everything at the same time. I hope that this helps you and I love you so much. Can't wait to catch you on the next episode.